Hello, hello, long time no see. I haven't filmed a video in ages, but a vlog specifically, I feel like it's been months. I was away for a while and now I'm back in London and I have so much to catch you guys up on. We've got general life updates, we've got bracelets to talk about, we've got some really cool things that I got to talk about and then also an update on some of the books that I've been reading. So I was away for about three months. I was visiting my family back in Russia and I also had a few trips in between. I went to Amsterdam and it fell over my birthday as well. So we had an absolutely fantastic trip it was my first time there. I loved it. It was so, so beautiful. And then when I got to Russia, we also flew to Armenia with my family. And then we did a bit of a road trip through Armenia into Georgia and then back to Armenia. We actually are ethnically Armenian and Georgian and we actually even have some family over there. But this was my first time visiting as an adult. I've only ever been there when I was a baby. So it was an absolutely fantastic time. Both countries are so, so beautiful. There are so many beautiful mountains and landscapes and it was absolutely breathtaking and I had such a phenomenal time. And then of course my family live in Russia, so it was also a wonderful time seeing all of them. I stocked up on a bunch of strings, so there will be a whole video coming out at some point. But today I wanna talk about some of the other things that I got and also just generally how I've been doing. So I got the coolest gift. The family that we have in Georgia are my grandmother's sister and her children, so my dad's cousins. And she gave me the coolest gift ever. She gave me a collection of patterns by DMC. It's super old. I actually don't know what year this is. I'm gonna need to figure that one out. But it's super old. It's from DMC and it's got a bunch of different like cross stitch patterns and stuff. Obviously cross stitching isn't my main activity. This is so gentle. I have to be so delicate with it. But a lot of these patterns are transferable to friendship bracelets. And also I am down to cross stitch this. <laughs> like I know it's not my main activity, but I'm down to try. It's in French, which does complicate things a little bit. But thankfully I know people who speak French who are able to help me. <laughs> so that shouldn't be a problem. It has these beautiful patterns and instructions and it's got copy sheets as well so that you can transfer them to your canvas. There's a bunch of different stuff in here and this is genuinely the coolest gift anyone has given me in at least a very long time. So this is very, very exciting. I'm probably going to do a video on it at some point. It is gonna take me a while to work up to it because I need to like properly sit down with it, but that's just really cool. That's just really a cool thing that's happening. Another thing that I got, which is for myself, I got a pattern book with cats. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought it was great. This is specifically like embroidery, which is something that I have literally never tried. So I don't know why I got a pattern book for it because I don't know what I'm doing. It's also not very beginner friendly. Like these feel pretty advanced. And I must say that the instructions are not super clear. Um, very intimidated but I will also try and do this. I've been meaning to get into embroidery for a while. It's just something that for some reason I, I never got around to. Hoping to change that this year. So there's that. Those are like some cool things that I got and I've been meaning to try out. Another thing that I got, which isn't so cool, um, are compression gloves, which I actually really recommend. I've been making bracelets for like 14 years and my wrists have started to hurt um, and that's not great. I sometimes get like really bad pain in my wrists, which makes it difficult to not, but not only that, it makes it difficult to like live life in general. So I got compression gloves to use when I'm making bracelets or doing anything sort of crafty like that. They're supposed to help uh, prevent and also help in the moment. So I've been using them every time I make bracelets nowadays and you might've even seen them in some of the Not With Me videos that I've been doing lately. I'm trying not to forget to use them because it's important. And I also try and do exercises now every time, like little stretches that way, this way, like so, and then take little breaks maybe half an hour after I've started to stretch my wrists again, make sure I get some movement going. And it actually has been helping. I do find that this has been very helpful. So I do recommend it just in general to sort of prevent any issues from happening, but also if you have issues already these have been really helpful to me so tip for you people have asked me how do I not get carpal tunnel um, I do <laughs> that is the answer sadly I also have like a bunch of bracelets that I started this one has the most progress on it at the moment it's also got the most cat hair on it because cats <laughs> these two are actually the same pattern one of them is just in vibrant colors and the other one is in more muted colors I thought it would be quite interesting to see the same pattern done twice two different ways and then I also have this little one kind of like a muted rainbow as well, but also not all the colors of the rainbow. So those are some of the bracelets that I've been working on and I probably will be working on throughout this vlog. But first I wanna chat with you guys about books because I've been reading so much lately. I actually don't remember what I last talked to you about in terms of books. So let me just show you all of the books that I have on my shelf 
have right now. So you might remember a while ago I separated my unread books from the books that I've read. And I now have a cart next to my armchair with all of the books that I haven't read yet, so they're separate. And that way, all the books that are on my shelves are books that I've actually read. And it makes me proud to look at my shelves and not anxious like it did before. So here is my updated version of my red shelf. I added so many books to here once I came back from Russia because even books that I read digitally, I then add physically because I like collecting books as well as I like reading them. I swear like collecting and organizing books is a completely separate hobby to actually reading them. Also buying books is probably and also a completely separate hobby. <laughs> they give me happiness in their own separate ways. I am proud to report however that my physical TBR which is like to be read, my pile of physical books that I haven't read isn't actually as big as it used to be. I did slim it down significantly. More so pretty much all of the books on my physical TBR have been purchased within the last year. So any books that I purchased before then, which was a lot, I've already read. I feel like that's a really solid turnaround. I really did make an effort to read my physical TBR and I feel like I made a good effort on it. Anyway, some highlights from my recently read books. What was it? I, uh, I finished the Skyward novellas mixed feelings on those to be honest. Didn't love them as much as the main series books, but that makes sense. Cannot wait for the last book to come out in November. I read Legendborn and Bloodmarked and that was a thrilling adventure. I can see why it's so highly reviewed. It was intense and I cannot wait for the next one to come out as well. I read Iron Widow, but I will not be continuing with the series. I didn't love that one. I cannot quite pinpoint why, I just didn't. I made good progress on A Song of Ice and Fire. Got two books left. They are really big books, but I've got two books left. <laughs> I finished the Jade City books. I loved it so deeply. Jade City, Jade War, and Jade Legacy, each in their own way, were absolutely just epic. Like, there's no other word to describe it. It was just epic. And finally, I actually just finished the second book yesterday. We've got The Jasmine Throne, which is the Burning Kingdoms series. I didn't actually enjoy the second book more so than I did the first one, which is unusual, but I like those a lot. And I also cannot wait for the last one to come out. I'm reading a lot of unfinished series at the moment, which is not typical for me. I typically read books that are like completely published, but I must say, I'm not, I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. So that's my book update. What I'm currently reading is something that is very intimidating. I started the Stormlight Archives, which I've been meaning to do for ages, but I feel like you need to be in the correct mindset to read it. Like some books, if you don't know, this already big book, which is already 600 pages long, is book one, part one. There is another one of these here that make up the full book. So that's what? about 1,200 pages in a singular book. And there's multiple books. So this is like a very long series that is still currently being written. And it is epic fantasy. And I know that I'm gonna love it, which is why I've been meaning to pick it up for ages. But it is intimidating to start. Like it's a commitment and you need to be in the right frame of mind because reading an epic fantasy actually like takes a lot of effort, at least for me. So I've been meaning to read that for ages and I finally got around to it. And I am 100 pages in and I feel like I literally just started, but it's fun, I'm enjoying. It. I guess I'll keep you updated about that in future vlogs. Let's get to bracelet making. Hello and welcome to the bracelet making part of today's vlog. An interesting thing you're gonna notice if you watch all of these clips through is that my manicure changes every single clip. With this first bracelet that I'm making here, we started off with the manicure that I originally filmed the video with. Then there's a second clip about a few weeks later where I'm making another bracelet with a completely different set of nails. And finally, in the third clip, we have the manicure that I have now. <laughs> the reason for that is I forgot about this vlog. I'll be honest with you, I just completely forgot about it. And also I didn't really make any bracelets in between. I still have problems with my wrists that kind of prevent me from making bracelets as much as I would like to, which is really sad and annoying. I briefly touched on it earlier in the video where I told you that I've got like gloves now, which helped me. It's not been too, too bad. However, I have been able to make bracelets occasionally, just not as much as I would have liked and not as much as I used to. But let's talk about the bracelets that I did make. I finally finished some bracelets. I love this pattern and I love the colors that I chose for this one as well. I think they look really, really cool. Outline patterns are definitely my go-to. But you know what? I made a mistake in this one which was very much not obvious to me until about two or three days after I finished it. And then I looked at the bracelet again and I was like, wait a minute, I wonder if you can see it. I talked about this on my Instagram story, but can you notice this by yourself if you haven't seen that? I'm telling you I didn't notice until days later. 
I accidentally switched the colors somehow. So I started off with the light purple sort of in the diamond and the dark purple for the cross. And then I've got that here and here. And then suddenly I don't have that anymore and the colors have switched. The light purple is the cross and the dark purple is in the diamond in the middle. And the reason that happened is because in this section, I entirely forgot to make the diamond. I somehow skipped a bunch of rows and instead of going in to create the like cross and the diamond in the middle, which should have been here. Like that's what this part was starting for. This should have been the diamond here. I kind of skipped that and just continued making the bracelet, which is kind of funny because it's not that obvious when you look at it and it kind of even looks intentional because it's also placed sort of in the middle. But yeah, that was definitely, definitely a mistake. I wasn't planning on doing that. I just completely misread the pattern as I was making it. I got a bit too, you know, cocky about it. I was like, oh, I don't need the pattern anymore. But obviously I did. <laughs> and then I switched the colors and I didn't even realize until like a couple of days after I finished the bracelet, which has never happened to me before. So that's quite funny. And once I did realize, I was like, wait a minute, did I use a color changing string? Like what happened here? But no, <laughs> I know I didn't. I just accidentally switched the colors in this area, which is kind of funny. But I like how it turned out regardless. I love the colors and I think it is a beautiful pattern. And then I finally finished this one today as well. This one is so pretty. I love the faded colors as well, the kind of muted rainbow and just the way that the little diamonds look. It's a really pretty and gorgeous bracelet, but my God, was it annoying to make. This was so tedious and annoying to make just because of how many like little diamonds I had to create and how repetitive this was. This is just one repeating pattern over and over again. And those tend to be so boring compared to this one. Obviously I didn't really do it correctly, but you've got this entire section as the repeating section. Like that's a big chunk. Whereas here, the repeating section is what like this, that's it. And you just have to repeat the same thing over and over and over again. It gets old, you know, it gets really boring and it gets old. So I don't typically make bracelets like this. I don't even know why I started this one to begin with, honestly, but I did. I do love how it turned out. Don't get me wrong. It is a really gorgeous bracelet, but it was just very annoying to make. <laughs> my point. Also, annoyingly, I miscalculated the string length and I started running out of white string close to here. And so I had to go in and replace it. You can see that I've got like little pieces cut off here. I teach how to do that in my fixing mistakes uh, video, by the way. So there is a tutorial on how to replace strings. It's not hard to do. It's, it's quite easy to do, actually. It's just annoying. <laughs> Like I would rather not have to do that, you know what I mean? It's also like so close to the end, but I knew I wouldn't have enough to complete this bit if I hadn't done that. So two of the bracelets that I started are now finished. The other two that I was working on, I have made very decent progress on. I love how both of these are turning out. I was very curious to see which I would prefer. I posted on Instagram when I was about that far in and most people seem to prefer this one, but I'm curious if I post about it again, if that will change. Uh, not that I have a strong opinion to be honest either way, it, was, it just surprised me how much people preferred this one over that one. I thought it would be closer to 50-50. So I'm curious to see if that's gonna change, but I love both of them, to be honest. I, I can't choose, that's the thing. <laughs> I think that's why I was surprised that people had a strong preference, because I don't know which one I like more. I like both of them, and I think they're both really cool. I'm excited to finish these. These four bracelets, all four of these, were sort of a project for me to get back into bracelet making without any pressure. So none of these were created for a video. None of these had any other goal to create them other than for the joy of creating them. Um, so that was kind of my whole reasoning to get myself back into it. And I love how all of these are turning out. I'm gonna leave you guys here for today. I do plan on making more vlogs now that I'm back in London. Although my life is pretty chaotic and I am leaving again in a couple of months. So, you know, <laughs> that's neither here nor there. I have a few tutorials already filmed that are coming out soon as well. And some not with me's maybe, lots of stuff coming up. I finally got my second book report by the way, and it's been doing really well. And that means so much to me. I'm so glad that you guys are enjoying it. I've been getting so many nice messages about it. And it just makes me really happy to see you guys using and loving the book. So yeah, just a reminder that that's out. If you don't have it and you want to get it, there is a link in the description, but also it's available wherever you typically buy books. It's also international. If you need help figuring out how to buy it in the country that you live in, you can reach out to my publisher on Instagram or on their website. They're called Rocky Nook and there's a link to their website in the description. I also want to give a special shout out to my patrons and especially my top supporters. I say this in every video, but genuinely it is with your support that I'm able to create these videos and I really truly appreciate that. If you also want to support the work that I do on this channel, the link to that is in the description. But in any case, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you in my next one. Bye! Thank you.